this is Raina from thecheesethief.com and today I'm going to show you how to make slime. This is a non-toxic slime that use, does not use borax or glue. It just uses cornstarch, water, and oil. And the cool thing about this slime is that it, when you roll into a ball, it hardens and then when you release it, it turns into a more liquid form. And there's a science behind this. So this is actually called a non-Newtonian fluid, where the more pressure that is put onto the fluid, it acts more like a solid. And the less pressure, it acts like a liquid. This is because the viscosity of the substance changes with the amount of force that's put on it. So this is a pretty cool science that you can show your kids. It is quite messy, so I will give you that warning that it is a little oily and on the messy side. You can see how messy my hands are getting. But it's pretty cool if you just uh, make it and then it does dry up, so you can add a little water at the end to reconstitute it. For this tutorial, you will need cooking oil. I'm just using canola oil, water, I'm using bottled water, but you could certainly use tap. Cornstarch or baby powder, but if you use baby powder, make sure that it is pure cornstarch. A, a plastic spoon and a paper bowl. This is just for easy cleanup. To start, you're going to start off with equal parts water and cornstarch, but the actual recipe will be four parts cornstarch, two parts water, and one part oil. But when you start off, you want to mix in equal parts cornstarch and water, so two parts cornstarch, two parts water, and then slowly mix in the other ingredients. So I'm going to just add my two parts cornstarch, two parts water, and then mix it until it's nice and liquidy. After your baby powder and water are mixed thoroughly, you're going to add one part oil and mix again. Once your oil is mixed through thoroughly, you're going to add your last part of cornstarch and mix again. You know your slime is done when it looks like this consistency. Mm -hmm. It's very slimy, but when you apply force to it, mm -hmm. it actually will solidify. So I'm going to roll into a ball so you can see how it will turn into a solid, but then when I have no pressure on it, it turns into this gloopy liquid form. You could start playing with it and rolling it into a ball to see how it turns from a solid to a liquid and back to a solid again, but with the amount of pressure that you put on it. If you find that your slime is a little too sticky or a little too li liquidy, you can add some cornstarch or a little bit of oil. If you find that it is too stiff, then add a little water. This is a really cool experiment, but it is very messy, so I really have to say this one more time, that you want to make sure that you use this on a protected surface or maybe outside, if you're, especially if you're showing this to your kids. The feel of the slime is so unique, I could play with this for hours. The texture and the con consistency of it when you apply force and then when it just melts in your hands is pretty amazing. If you wanted to save the slime, I would put it in a piece of saran wrap or even in, leave it in the bowl. I will warn you though that the slime does dry out, so the next time you want to use it, you will have to add a little bit more water. You can just keep adjusting the water and the cornstarch um, measurements until it becomes a perfect consistency. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. If you happen to make this slime on our Instagram, I would love to see your slime or any videos that you have of it. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to be kind to one another. Until next time, bye now.